Good morning, everyone. We have the tea all loaded up. I'm letting her warm up this morning. It's a little bit cool here in July. Kind of unusual for this time of year. We're headed out today up to the Richland Creek area. We're hoping to have about three days of camping before the rains all come back again. And I didn't put as much stuff in the car this time because it's about a three hour drive from here to Richland Creek and some pretty steep hills as we go across some of the roads over toward Allred. So maybe we'll get to see some of y'all along the trail. Well, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Got your long sleeve shirt on? Got it on. It's long sleeve shirt and shorts. It's I guess chilly that, this morning. Uh -huh. That'll work real good. Yep. Long sleeve shirt and shorts. Way you do it. All right, well, I guess we're ready to head out. gonna be hard to see this today because it's a little foggy but this is the old swinging bridge the low water bridge and then the one that we're on right here is the modern bridge across the little red river between all red and scotland on the low gap road if you look real close you can see right there is the remains of the swinging bridge and then right there is the low water bridge that washed out and then the new bridge that they put in This bridge was built in 1923 and then after an accident where a truck fell through the bridge it was condemned in 1936. Then this bridge was built, the low water bridge. And I don't remember exactly when it washed out, but it was probably in the 80s. Probably the flood of 82, and when we had that storm. Yeah, it was, and then they built the new bridge, which is further downstream, right down in here is where the new bridge is built at. Yeah, you can't hardly see it anymore. These are the two, there's actually three of them. There's one right back in there, right here, and then this one. These are the, the hand laid rock approaches. You froze yet? Yep, I'm good.
This is the Low Gap Church on Low Gap Road between Scotland and All Red. Ladies look like they took better care of theirs. Theirs is in a lot better shape than the, than the one for the men's. This is the church that Kathy went to when she was a little girl when she lived out at All Red. They always knew it as the Little Red Shanty. And how old would you have been when you was here? Seven, eight, maybe. I don't know. Oh, probably seven, eight years old. Yeah. The whole corner's kind of rotted out of it now, ain't it? Can't tell if the old piano is still in there or not. It's back in the right corner. Mm -hmm. This is the old all red school. This is where Kathy went to school at. Till the eleventh grade. Till the eleventh grade, and then she moved to Clanton whenever her family moved. That's some pretty old equipment. This is the visitor center inside the Whit Springs Old School. And they have photos of all of the waterfalls in this area, as long as, as well as trail maps, information. Then this map right here shows you every waterfall in this part of the country, and there are a lot of them. We're going to be camping right along in here. This is about where we're camping at. It's just a nice visitor center. It's open every day. Uh, I don't remember what time they close it. Probably about 5 o'clock at night.
too hot to be doing anything. Huh. Well, my help gave up on me. Now look who's down. Talk about me laying down and taking a nap. Well, I'm just relaxing for a minute. Yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. sure. Well, it got cold last night. It did. It felt good, though. Mm-hmm. For July, it was really cold. How was breakfast? Look good. I didn't burn it quite as bad this time. No, you did all right. Wanna walk down to the creek? Yep. Let's go. Had breakfast this morning. Still nice and clear. You can see the blue water here. We're getting ready to drive over to Highway 16, and about three years ago, there was an event that happened with me and Kathy and this Model T. And I'm just going to leave it at the event for right now. A little bit later in the video, I'll show you some pictures of what happened and 
uh, how it all turned out, and then I'll explain what we did to kind of keep it from happening again. All right, this morning we've stopped at Fallen Water Falls, and for a change, there is no one here. First time I've seen it in a long time with nobody here. Too early in the day. This is the turtle with the rock in his mouth that Fallen Water Falls. What days are you open? Every day, six to six. Okay, that'll work. There's a lot of people I mean, overlanding and that's driving around and running the backcountry. It's hard to find gas up in this part of the yes, world. Yes, it is. Uh, we, sometimes, you know, if we have some kind of special occasion, we'll close it. We usually post that on Facebook before people open. Okay, yeah. They make real nice sandwiches here. They've got hamburgers. they got a lot of stuff on the menu. We're back at the site of the event. Three years ago, me and Kathy, while on tour, we were coming up this hill going the other direction from the way I'm sitting right now. And I missed a gear when shifting the Warford transmission. Stalled out, rolled backwards. The 
Rocky Mountain brakes didn't hold me in reverse, and we flipped, we rolled off the side of this mountain, slid to the bottom of this hill, and we ended up right down there at the bottom of that hill. This is a lot steeper than it looks. That was what made me decide that we needed to put the modern disc brakes on this thing. And so we can stop the car now safely. And I really don't have no danger of getting stalled out on a hill and ended up upside down in a ditch anymore. Do you want to try it again? Yep. Well, that's enough for me. Yeah, that was enough. Hawaiian Spam Burgers tonight. And then some pineapple. Fresh, locally grown tomatoes. And then we're going to fry it in this very healthy Crisco. Mm -hmm. Now this is what my mom always fried everything in that I ever ate was Crisco. That or bacon grease. Yeah, that or bacon grease. That one's getting there. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh. I like it. Fans are they cooked crisp. Gotta be very crisp. That one looks good. Lightly brown. And bring me the hamburger bags. Well, we're just warming them up anyway. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're doing. All right, Hawaiian spam burger. You needed a lot, didn't you? Yeah, I think it was, this wasn't a full jug. A little over a half a quart. Check it again. These two little pet cocks right here are the oil level. The oil level should be running somewhere between the two pet cocks. If I turn the top, the bottom one, I have oil running out. Now I turn the top one, and I've just got just a little bit is trying to run out. I'm not going to add any more. It's just barely running out, so I'm, I'm just right. And then always set these things. All right, well, we've got everything loaded up. And we're getting ready to head back home now. And you're what, two days? And, Camp two days. Yeah, and headed home on the third day. And we've left the camp pretty much better than it was whenever we got here, which I think everybody should. But, well, are you ready? Oh. You're tarred. I'm tarred.
I don't know how you're going to get back up. But. I don't know. <laughs> This is all just below Fallen Waterfalls. You could safely stay up in this. This is plenty high enough above water line. This is a nice little pool. From the looks of that, that's at least five or six foot deep. At least. Might even be more than that. Because you can jump off these bluffs, these rocks. You did it. Stopped here at Hillbilly Slams today. It was lucky they was open. They've got good food at this place. All right, this is what we got. I got full pork on a regular bun, french fries, coleslaw. Kathy got cold pork. On a pretzel bun. On a pretzel bun with fried green, fried pickles. Fried pickles. Yeah. And then pork skins.